is how we ride. This is how we do. And then you had this wing situation. Did you? I sent you that that screenshot of that, didn't it, Joe? You're saying his right side panel was kicked out out of so, all of a sudden. That's what someone on Twitter was assuming. It just looked to me like he he has a thin thin wing panels and it, it the wind the wind just deforms it so it has a slight curvature to it. Well, and you can see it that, on the uh, on the replay right there. Um, what what part we're talking about? You can see it's bent in right there. It, it looks damaged, but. I'm sure if you were smart enough, you could figure out what kind of curvature that sideboard likes and just say it's damaged and leave it that way. I'm sure there's a way to bend that wind or bend the air a little bit more, especially when it's got that pocket in it like that. It's going to catch a little more air on that yeah. right sideboard. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, my wings have done that because I have like a one six material. I have thinner material. You see, Rico's isn't doing it, though. Yeah, no so, one yeah, else you do is. See a, 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 but but it is strange that it's deforming down the straightaway. Right. That Usually means it's happens, already done. You know, when you turn the car. Yeah. And this is the There's green flag dance. of the race, Joe. <laughs> this is the green flag of the race. <laughs> yeah, why why the is there always there. something with Kyle? Why does he need to pull these things off? What's the why? Why? Is he giving us material? Is that what he's doing? Is this how he... Trans, uh, uh, gives me something. Is this how he pays me? Is with doing this stuff on purpose? He's like, all right, let's do this so Chaz and Joe will talk about it or something. <laughs> Chaz will talk about this. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. A wicker Bill Eagle, that thing only two inches? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, this is the green flag of the race. Yeah, there was a what sector in there when uh, Larson had a run, a very similar run to the inside of Rico and 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 woed up on it, entering three. I think it was like 20 to go. I don't know if yeah, you remember what I'm talking about, but he had a chance. He could have pulled it, you know. And, and, well, that's, that, go ahead. that's a good observation. A good observation. You're saying Kyle woed up. It looked to me like Kyle was woeing up quite a bit last night. He was not yeah, as I've aggressive. Watched Kyle's, I've watched Kyle, I think, as much as anybody. And... Uh, Was he trying to win? What he? Oh, are you? My mind instantly goes to: Are you telling me he's going to purposely lose the championship to Rico to keep credibility within the series? No, no, it's a bit. That's what my you mind might went lose to. A race or two. You might, you might lose a race or two to tighten up the point race and make this. If he went out there and won eight in a row, what would it look like? Wow. I did not draw that conclusion when I saw that, but it was a de- definitely an uncharacteristic Kyle move. Usually, Kyle goes for those. Well, it wasn't just that move. He he faded back to fourth at one point, didn't he? How often do you see Corey Lyson driving by Kyle? Can you show me another race this year where Kyle all of a sudden looks kind of lackluster and falling back to second and third, and now he's in fourth, and then he's but Kyle's the great. No, oh. he's proven it time and time again. He's won oh. Knoxville. He's won Chili Bowl. He's won NASCAR. He's winning it all, Chaz. Okay, Kyle's the best. Yeah. What I saw last night was not wasn't was not the Kyle that, that we've I've watched, watched all these years. That's right. That's all I'm saying. Maybe the car was off. Maybe he had a bad night. I'm sorry, but this is making sense to me. The fix is actually in. (laughs) I mean, I I remember this vividly, and I brought this up. I did not look at it from the angle of manufacturing a championship battle at the final race. But I have never seen Kyle Larson surrender like that. That is surrendering. At least the surrendering of the momentum. (laughs) Look at that. Well, there's a gap there, too. R- Rico's not on the bottom. No, he's not. You got the Peavely highlight? It is up on the screen. This is okay, on the let's final see what lap this looks like. of the Iron Man 55. And watch. Uh, hold on. Just, yeah. just watch this. Kyle get just a watch how Kyle lifted on Rico yeah. to, I think, now manufacture a championship battle. But 
This is who. This is why. Uh, it, it, ladies, this is why it is so odd because this is Kyle Larson driving a sprint car right here. Watch this. The guy. It's the guy I know. Whoa. Very short, treacherous conditions for the win. Not just for a championship. You got to think about it. Him lifting at Bridgeport was lifting in a championship and a race win battle. This is just <laughs> racing for a win. You're telling me the guy that pulls that move right there is a guy who lifts with a 20 mile per hour run and two lanes to choose from? He sees Shuhart coming he down. Shoe- there ain't no guess here. He drove Shuhart all the way up the track, didn't he? Look at look at Logan has nowhere to go. Where he, he was this Logan. guy? Where was this guy okay, let's look last at, night, Joe? Look at it from Logan's point of view. Can, and now go back and, and show last night again. Oh, I now, am. now that we've seen this. And how much was the Iron Man? Twenty thousand. Yeah, and this was twenty three last night. And this was this is twenty three thousand and a championship. This is a championship battle, one two. And he does this. What is that, Joe? When this happened, it stuck out in my mind. Initially, I was like, man, he's being a smart driver. Wow, he's being patient. Look at the patience he just used. Wow. That's what popped in my head. But in reality, Joe, this is what's in my head. I'm expecting this. I really did not see see that angle. I I should have sat and thought a little bit. (laughs) Well, but now that you say it, it makes all the sense in the world. I don't know. I just what That's I why he of. lifted right there to manufacture a championship why battle I, in the series that he runs. Oh, that sounds like it would never happen, why I, right? Why I'm on the show? Wow. I'm sure. I'm sure Kyle will be aggressive on the last race. You watch. I don't know. W- would it be? I feel like it would be bad press if he if he wins it. I feel like he will manufacture losing the race or losing the championship. I'm not sure their point system. Uh, Rico gained five points by winning in Kyle second. He's 15 behind. So I don't know. I don't know the point breakdown. Honestly, from a from a marketing perspective, and I'm good at this stuff. From a marketing perspective. I think it would look bad if Kyle wins the championship, but I think it would look extremely good if Rico does win the championship, especially if they're trying to pirouette into next year and go after the Outlaws with this high-limit all-star merger deal that's happening no matter what anyone else says. It's happening. And and they're trying to manufacture Rico as the star, and he's got a damn good resume this year. I mean... Against outlaws, you know, Kyle's got a decent resume in his career against the out. But this year, it would, it would, if you was to say Rico Abreu is the hottest driver of twenty twenty three, you got a debatable topic there. You know, even though he's he's not a full time outlaw, he's not raced for outlaw championships, um, but he's won against the outlaws on a consistent basis, and he's ran well against Kyle in this. I think marketing wise, you want Rico Abreu as your champion. Well, like any any kind of deception, it it it's best to make it look so real that it's debatable. I, I'll, I'll, all I gotta say is what I just said about you want Rico as your champion. Yeah. That sounds like the thought in Kyle's mind right here. I gotta run, I gotta run. Oh, we need him as the champion. But this is how we ride, this is how we do. Ride must, ride must.